What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite expat, Rocky, in real time. And today I want to be taking you to Sao Paulo and sharing with you one of the experiences that I recently had in one of their most iconic buildings. And really, it's one of the most iconic buildings in the world um, because it kind of inspired a lot of other buildings uh, because of its architecture. We know that Sao Paulo is one of the biggest cities in terms of population, lots of nice big buildings, and has that really um, fast paced sort of vibe, kind of similar to New York. Um, and this building is in the center of Sao Paulo, the central district, uh, the center historical district. And the building is called the Edificio Copan, right? It's in the middle of, you know, central in Sao Paulo in the Republica district area. Um, it's one of the most iconic landmarks in Sao Paulo and in Brazil. And it's one of the largest residential buildings in the world with over 5,000 residents and 1,200, um, you know, units. And it stands over 38 floors tall. And it was completed in 1966 by a Brazilian uh, architect by the name of Oscar Niemar, right? And that's him right there. He's made a lot of other iconic buildings, especially um, here in Brazil and including their National Congress building, that building right there that's in Brasilia. Um, so, yeah, he kind of had this kind of edgy sort of architecture. But, you know, um, yeah, you see that blue sheet that was over the building that you saw. Um, that was to protect the people below because there's a lot of like falling and decaying tiles that are falling. Um, so yeah, that's me videoing and zooming in on some of those falling tiles. Um, this area of the building doesn't really have people below, so they didn't really cover it with a sheet. But yeah, that's the uh, that's uh, why there's that blue sheet over that you saw and uh, over it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's known for its uh, mixed use of design. It has like residential apartments, commercial spaces, and services. There's a lot of shops on like the ground floors, restaurants, a theater, there's offices and there's even a hotel, you know, all within that building. And as you can see on the ground floor, there's a bunch of things here. There's like that cafe, there's a bunch of shops, there's even a church on the ground floor. So there's a lot that this building has, you know, and you can see that map that I'm showing you there. Um, you know, it has a bunch of blocks or blocos, as it's called in Portuguese. I think there's about six, A through F. Um, and yeah. Uh, the building itself has a vast area in which it covers approximately 7,900 square meters or 85,000 square feet, and it occupies an entire city block. It's a massive, massive, massive building. Um, it, it is estimated to have over 2,500 windows, and this building itself is so big that it has its own zip code, or as Brazilians like to call it, its own CEPI, right? C-E-P, CEPI, right? Um, so yeah, I'm making my way over to Block B. I was on the 27th floor in the building. Um, you gotta check in with any of these, all these blocks and stuff. So, you know, you check in with your Airbnb and there's a lot of Airbnbs in this building. And there's like four or five different elevators in each block, right? Uh, the, the hallways, the hallways also have a sort of an urban legend associated with them. See this monochromatic sort of yellowish hallway that you're gonna see as I'm walking down the hallway. But they say if you whisper your deepest desires, the building will make it come true. So, yeah, that's something to note about the building. Um, also, uh, the building itself was a challenging endeavor as the soft soil in the area required like an installation of 1,160 concrete piles to support the structure. So that's what's under. Cool little welcome mat, as you can see. I'm checking in, you know, got the code and everything. And I really just stayed in a nice little studio that had a nice view because that's what I was more concerned about. But they have a lot of nice luxury buildings here on Airbnb. So you can even just search Edificio Copan and you'll see, you know, all the nice uh, all the nice units that they have here. So so you'll notice also that the building has a curved S shape and uh, the use of the balconies for each apartment gives residents a panoramic sort of views of the city including Sao Paulo's uh, skyline and landmarks like the Sao Paulo Cathedral. So depending on what side of the building you're on, you can see a different part of Sao Paulo's skyline. So I got this is what I was seeing from my building or from my unit. Um, so, yeah. And the Edificio Copan has become sort of a cultural icon in Sao Paulo and has even been featured in numerous films, documentaries, artworks, and it represents the city's architectural and cultural heritage so i was very excited to stay here you know um i'm a nerd i like history and culture and all that stuff and you know this is just me just showing you my like you know 
like unit and everything. There's a lot of nicer units and things, but I was just more uh, engrossed in the history and just wanted to participate and just learn about that, right? Um, in terms of the renovations and stuff, like I said, this, the, the um, you know, it's gone uh, under extensive renovations and it still is. And here's me just going to Airbnb just to show you the different units. And you can type in the edifice coupon and it has its own selectable option in Airbnb. That's to just to show you how big this building is. And you'll see all the different units that I'm going to select here and just kind of show you through. Um, and yeah, you, you just see the range of options that you have just by staying here. Right. Um, yeah. So uh, like I said, you know, the, the, the building itself has its own postcode uh, and the postcode is from 01066 to uh, 905 due to its enormous size and, you know, uh, the need to facilitate the mail delivery to all of its residents. Um, and the city itself has a symbol in its building as of uh, an urban life in Sao Paulo and has attracted many musicians, artists, intellectuals who became its uh, uh, sort of, you know, frequent uh, goers and to appreciate its bohemian and sort of cosmopolitan uh, uh, sort of ambiance, right? Um, <clears throat> In 2012, the Edificio Copan was listed as a historical and cultural heritage site by the city of Sao Paulo, recognizing its architectural and social importance to the city. Right. So, yeah, you can see all these units and stuff here that I'm going through. And, you know, that's the, the range of options that you have. Some of them are blocked by the, you know, by the construction that's going on. It's still going on. So depending on when you see this video, it's probably still going to be blocked. Right. Um, so you won't have much of a view depending on where you stay in the building so that's something to be mindful of if you want to come to this building have a nice view that you know because of the construction and whatnot or the level in which some of these units are they might not have a nice view so um and yeah this is just the area around the building this is like central uh slash republica so you can see it's very centrally located lots of buses lots of trains and everything in the area um, so yeah, it was very easy to get around from this building and sort of just like walk around or like take an Uber or take a bus or take a, take the train. I was only a few blocks away from the train station. Um, the nearest train station was the Republica station. I believe I think that's on a red line. Um, so yeah, you know, it's me taking a bunch of little panoramic shots of, you know, the area and around the building, um, that I stayed in. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the details in which I had about the building. It's a pretty interesting building. If you have a chance to stay there, I'd highly recommend it. Um, it's one of the largest buildings in Latin America. I mean, residential buildings. So it's a, it's a very unique building and that's the Republic of stop right there. Yeah. It's the red line. And like I said, it's really centrally located. You can get access to a train and just jump on the train from that building and go all over Sao Paulo. Um, there's the train lines and whatnot, the train stations that I was going through and <laughs> getting lost in in Sao Paulo. So, yeah, that's that's pretty funny. And uh, yeah, Edificio Copan is an interesting building. Very, very interesting building. And yeah, and during um, Brazil's um, sort of military rule, um, a lot of the like sort of socialites and, you know, uh, people in academia and artists and other people saw this building as a rif uh, a place of refuge. So, you know, they were just in that building and sort of like, you know, just collaborating and, and doing all sorts of stuff. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the information I was able to provide. And yeah, you stay safe and enjoy.